Hey everybody, um, woke up a little bit late and had an excellent conversation uh, with a gentleman by the name of Jeff. Um, he's a collie player, sea lot player, uh, incredible credentials. Um, can't believe I met this guy outside of a seminar and actually met him through like my hobby. But uh, anyways, um, I'm, uh, I'm running real short of time, so I'm doing a quick and dirty, and I've been actually thinking about this for a couple of days. Um, I was going to uh, actually do this kind of backwards, but I, I actually had less time than I do now uh, when I had made these for my quick and dirty. So what I wanted to show you guys is... Um, this is just one stage. Remember I said there's a tall one and a short one, so you can uh, have different heights. Um, you can expand upon that height element and um, kind of, of show the evolution of your table over time by using this, this technique and this strategy. Hopefully my heat gun is up to speed and I can uh, show you the next stage and then on to uh, what would be the final stage. Oh good, it's up to heat. So we've got two levels. We've got a short, a short hump and a taller hump. The next level that we would take this in guys is we would actually have it sitting above ground. Um, I'll, I'll show you this later on but I'm just uh, I gotta I gotta move quick because I gotta be out the door in less than a half an hour and I want to get the uh, I want to get the concept across because because it's an important one um, a lot of people uh, they tend to be rather static uh, when it comes to their train they'll, they'll for instance, they'll, they'll figure out how to make uh, a tree, or a hill, or whatever. And their whole table will be nothing but carbon copies of that same tree. Uh, which can be fine if there's height variation and, and other things, but um, a lot of people don't do that. They'll, they'll just say, okay, this is a tree and then they'll make a whole bunch more of them. And it kind of blows the visual effect because you, the only forest that you ever see where all the trees are, uh, are the same height is usually if it's a tree farm and they've all been uh, planted at the same time. Um, it almost never happens out in nature where they've got, got forest fires that'll wipe everything down. Well, now they're actually pretty common but uh, with the way it used to be, major forest fires never really occurred. And so your forest always had varying degrees and heights of trees. So back to the point, if you want your table to have a natural feel, you want it to uh, have varying heights. I'm gonna have to hold this up here, but you'll get a, a, a quick feel for what I'm talking about. Sorry guys. But as you can see, this is this is the style coming up out of the ground. This would be actually free of the ground. So it's sitting on the ground. It would be sitting on the base. I might have some uh, foliage around the base or some earth to show that it pushed its way up through the earth. Um, so this would be uh, an intermediate stage of this uh, build. Now, since we were talking about trees, everybody's used to trees being this way, okay? But what, how do I want you guys to think? I want you guys to think out of the box. I want you guys to be original. In your concepts and uh, and how you do things. So this 
is the concept that I want you guys to be thinking along. Okay? Now, obviously, this is not perfect. Like I said, it's called quick and dirty for a reason. But, um, this will kind of give you an idea of what the finished situation would look like. It doesn't want to stand up. Big surprise there. Here we go. Pardon me again, gentlemen. But this is what I'm talking about. Have, it, have your tree upside down going into a massive root system, pushing this thing up out of the ground. And another thing you can do is if you can get larger sized eggs, put a larger sized egg on it. And you don't need to have just one of these trees, guys. You can have several of these things branching out from the bottom. Um, and they kind of become like those, uh, it's like a one tree starts another tree, starts another tree. They're, they're down in Florida. I think they're called mangrove swamps. And these feeder trees keep feeling, uh, feeding off tendrils. And the funny thing is, is you can actually, if you're really good, you can actually map out the above ground root system and go back and find the original tree. It's really wild when you think about it. I saw a special about them on TV a while back. But this is what I'm talking about, fellas. Now, granted, this is in the ugly as hell stage, but you guys have seen what I've done before, so, you know, apply that to what you think this could be here. Now, everything's not sitting flat. I realize that, guys. What, you, what you're going to do here is you're going to use little hunks of polystyrene, make little hills, cover, cover those up, and make sure all of those go into the ground, and they feed up. Another thing you can do is like off of here, maybe make a smaller egg growing. You know, these come in all different sizes, guys. There's all sorts of ways you can do this. I'm just trying to expand your horizons and get you to, to make better looking and more interesting tables. So this covers the evolution from this to like your single egg. I ran out of time to put that on there. Up to like a much larger uh, system setup. So, there you go, guys. Love you. Have a great day. Bye bye.